Hey, it's JR with K92.3, Orlando's number one for new country, here with the beautiful Cam. Hi, Cam. Oh, hi. I'm beautiful today. Yes, you're always beautiful. <laughs> you're amazing. Hey, it's a so, birthday glow. I know. Birthday today. How fun is that? <laughs> it's pretty uh, good. It's actually been a great day. How, what's happened so far? What have they done for you? <sighs> I saw tomorrow, which I don't know what day that will be when you watch this. It's okay. You can say Friday. Cross-eyed. It, uh, I got to see a cool billboard article that's about to come out. Okay. And it's like a two-page thing. I got to see you don't get to approve those photos, so you just hope that it looks good. <laughs> oh, and you're on <laughs> so the I cover? I got to see that. No, no, no. A two-page feature. Like, oh, two-page. Feature. Perfect. Looks really cool. And then also they announced um, Vince Gill has putting out his album in February, and I am on it. Vince Gill, one of my favorites. Amazing. Everybody's favorite. Isn't that awesome? He's like the sweetest, and he's so talented. Like going in and trying to follow him with harmonies. Right. It's like vocal gymnastics. Like if I described like to my parents or grandparents like what I do for a living, like and I said Luke Bryan, they'd be like, huh? Yeah. But if I said, well, Vince Gill is country too, they go, oh. Yep. Yep. That's so right. that's like respect with the parents when you yeah. start doing stuff like with Vince Gill, you know? <laughs> that's so cool. All right. Also, let's talk about you got a, a wedding coming up. That's true. And uh, you're engaged. And it's I cool am. because your fiance is here tonight. He We're is. backstage at the House of Blues right now. About to go on with Eli Young Band. That's got to be awesome to, to have him with you. Yeah, no, it's really fun. We um like I've done so much flying around mm -hmm. this year, and because I don't have a bus or anything, I right. just fly everywhere. And so I've earned companion pass on Southwest. Oh. Hooey, that is another level. So he gets to fly tomorrow. We're flying all the way across country to California, and he's flying with me for eleven dollars. Wow, eleven dollars! Really that's proud. Cool. I'm really proud of that. that that's awesome. Balling <laughs> on a budget is like we have to call that. <laughs> very, very cool. And that's our bond, California. That's right. You know, I don't get to talk to a lot of artists that are from where no. I'm from, California. Now you're NorCal. I'm SoCal. Yeah, sorry. I was born in Huntington Beach, though. So that you're about HB Surf yeah, City. That's right. That's damn. I Can't known surf, by the hair. but you know. <laughs> and I saw something that one of your favorite uh, bands ever are the Beach Boys. That's right. And they're from Huntington Beach. That's right. And yeah. I actually, that was my first concert with Beach Boys. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. That's so rad. Well, uh, tell us about your album that's coming out, Untamed, correct? Yes, and Untamed. when is it coming out? December 11th. Wow. It's going to be exciting. So stocking stuffers, everybody. That's right. Untamed, mm -hmm. just in time for the holidays. Yeah. This is pretty cool because I saw you do a quote about it and said, like, this is all about, like, growing up, making mistakes, learning from it. Yeah. And just getting in trouble a little that's bit. That's right. Learn from that. So talk about some uh, trouble you were in when you were a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just about how your 20s, a lot of times you try and either fit in when you should just be yourself or you try and avoid hard subjects. Right. And really you should just take them head on. And that's kind of why on the cover there's like this me sipping from this lemon. And that's when I was little. We had fruit trees in the backyard, but there were lemons. And I saw that Tropicana ad. Mm. And my sister and I demanded that my dad put a straw in a lemon instead of an orange because that's all we had to wow. try it. And he was like, you're not going to like it. And I was like, I don't care. I want to try. <laughs> I was pretty headstrong as a five year old. And we tried it and it was horribly disgusting. But I feel like it's a great metaphor for how you shouldn't try and, you know, get lemons. Life gives you lemons. You shouldn't try and sweeten it and make it into lemonade. You should take it as is. And that's how you learn who you are. And like you're selling yourself short and like cutting out a big part of life if you don't take it all like as right. it is and just accept it and that's one of the hardest lessons and they're all kind of underneath that umbrella but each of the songs actually there's a lesson written next to each song which is pretty cool well i mean burning house is a perfect example of that i mean talk about yeah. an intense song i know you know what's so funny that's how i intro it on the radio go, you yeah ready for an intense song here's camp <laughs> you ready? House. people most i the most common thing i get is people say the first time they heard it they had to pull over yeah. And just like yeah. be there and cry on the side of the road. And then the next thing I get is m like people will say they're like five year old, six year old will love it. Right. And I'm like, you have an intense five or six year old. <laughs> and they just get all emo. And one girl wrote me, she said her six year old or kindergartner, they just switch schools. And so she like m is missing her little boyfriend, you know, quote unquote Aww. boyfriend. And so she pays, plays Burning House and listens and sings to Burning House like every day. I feel like the kid from Sixth Sense would really understand this <laughs> song. <laughs> right? <laughs> As he's seeing dead people, he's like, holy smokes. Yeah. I, that's a real dream you had about yeah. that whole thing. I mean, it's true. That, that is amazing. Yeah. It's kind of heavy. And very intense. Do you take Ambien or something? Like, yeah, what right. Makes you dream that hard. No, that was one of the most intense dreams. Like, I haven't had that many crazy dreams. I hope that was not. pretty heavy. The other day I dreamt I went to Mars, and that was pretty cool. All right. Coming out, Burning Mars. Her next <laughs> single could be coming out. That, that could be inspiration. <laughs> 
Well, tell me about one of your jobs. This is really interesting to me, being a California guy as well, that you uh, worked at Stanford. Yeah, I did. And now you're in the music industry. So tell me how that comes, and then you say, okay, well, now I'm going to go do music. Well, I kind of always did music from, like, fourth grade through to, like, college. And then by the time I kind of was, like, ready to go to graduate school, I thought maybe, like, should I? <laughs> like, <laughs> dis like, what should be my true purpose in life right. you know you're kind of like okay every job has sucky parts absolutely <laughs> Tell and me about it. yeah I'm and here. what do you want to like what do you love enough to put up with that yeah, absolutely and psychology i love it a lot but there's you know there's a lot of parts to like every job like psychology sure. just has them and i just wasn't quite there and i asked my professor i was like what do you think you know what should i do and she said when you're 80 years old um like picture yourself being old and looking back on your life and what would you regret having right. not done psychology or having not done music and well, I'm like okay I'm gonna go yeah I'm glad she said that because like what if she's like please go do music then you're like <laughs> wow did I really suck at my job yeah or what? right but that's kind of cool though psychology I mean you have to kind of know that a little bit to write songs because you're tapping yeah into it seems emotions similar and actually and it yeah it definitely helps a lot and I think that's the reason I was drawn to both of them because mm -hmm. I really love just the emotional kind of undertone of it's the thing that kind of makes everybody human and connects everybody. And I haven't seen something connect so many people so quickly as a song. Like, for example, I got to sing Sam Hunt brought me out to his street party thing okay. the other day. 10,000 people. And it, no one knew I was going to be there. So I didn't even know if they would know who right. I was. They Came did. out and sang Burning House. They sang every single word. And it didn't matter, like, where you're from, how old you are. I mean, they all were, you know. Yeah, <laughs> girl, they are they're Sam Hunt fans, but everybody all of a sudden had the same. Elaborate on that. Yeah. <laughs> Go they're on. all good looking, cute girls. And they all had on their f like face the same facial expression of like how I felt when I wrote it, mm. you know, and just for that three minutes, everybody was in the same vibe it was yeah, so cool you're so. tapping into souls amazing yeah. so you're getting ready to go on tour with uh brad paisley that's right eric pasley now have you had this warning yet that brad paisley is like the biggest prankster ever have you had that yes, warning yet i have i mean and this goes really back good to when taylor it. opened up for him like it's yeah. insane how did he prank taylor uh she wouldn't tell me actually so it was pretty bad like she was like young it was like talking to dakota fanning okay. like she was really young like <laughs> yeah. crazy mature and you're like yeah. you're smarter than me this is weird wow yeah yeah i see i'm the oldest of two girls and i didn't get pranked you know oh, like ready. so i know i'm kind of hoping i don't like have a bad reaction <laughs> yeah. i hate you brad yeah i'm going I get home. really upset <laughs> all right we're gonna play a little game with you it's called cam i am oh all right so I if like this that. is a true thing about you you're gonna say cam i am okay and then if it's not cam i'm not oh, all right and okay. it's rapid fire and okay. i might ask you a follow-up question cam i am cam i'm not is that cool i'm ready i'm tapping in right now uh i will cry at the altar oh cam i am all right <laughs> i get nervous before a show cam i am I've fallen on stage. <laughs> Kim, I am not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx. Uh, been arrested. Kim, I'm not. All right. We'll have a yellow car or yellow house sometime in my life. Kim, I probably will be. We got to say it correctly. We can't move on. Kim, I am. Kim. <laughs> <laughs> okay, NorCal, and people that are not from California might not get this, but uh -oh. I use the word hella. Cam, I am. Oh, man. <laughs> That's like the SoCal's like, we hate that. Yeah, just, well. Because it's how you use it. Like, hella good. I have to explain to them. Yeah, but, hella. But you say it? So like, yeah, like, it's out. hella humid out here in Florida. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I still love you. It's all good. All right. Uh, have a nickname for your fiance. Cam, I am. Can we hear it or is it a secret? Boo. Call him Boo. <laughs> 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 it scared me. <laughs> Had a celebrity crush as a kid. Cam, I am. Who? Everybody is Who? that. I mean, okay, so I was really into Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yeah. And Angel from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, Huge crush. Huge crush. Yeah. All right. David Boy Uh, Whoa, this kind of came back. Boomerang. Uh, <laughs> afraid of spiders. Mm, Cam, I'm not. Not Cam, I'm really. Not. Yeah. And love K923 and Orlando fans. Cam, I am. There you go. <laughs> Cam, Burning House, love the song. New album, December 11th, Untamed. She's amazing. Found it. Good luck with everything. Thanks.